Well, hello, and welcome to another riveting episode of Absolutely Positively. Let's say it again. Welcome to Absolutely Positively. I love using my English accent. <laughs> anyway, so happy that you are here. Why am I happy that you're here? Because this is a forum especially for you. It is a forum to help inspire, encourage, and motivate what I like to call the I am. The I am. <laughs> so that's my job, and it is my pleasure to do so. We are so ecstatic and wonderfully just blessed that you click, subscribe, and notify to whenever mute mo media <laughs> say that fast mute mogul media whenever they produce or push out a new show or an episode of yours truly absolutely positively with denny k i didn't say that but we're just so happy that you are subscribing to this wonderful content that we uh have the pleasure of using to connect with you in whatever way. And for me, it's through the I am. So, the I am. <laughs> That's gonna catch on, the I E M hashtag. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you again. And as I said, I'm your host, Denny K. And you see how I'm already having fun. I am already having fun, I'm already motivated because I have a good one for you today. And that's why I'm so goofy and excited today. <clears throat> Without further ado, let me just explain how we do things here if you're new. So what we do is, since I said this form is created, especially for you, but for me, all my life, I have been motivated by the words of others. It is my jump start. It is my battery connect and then my engine gets going based on a motivational quote that just really resonates with me. So I thought, how can I motivate you? That's what I can do. I can give a quote, tell a little story behind it, and hopefully that will get you to the I am. Okay. And so without further ado, we're going to do just that. Now, <clears throat> a little twist on today's episode, you know me, I'm always rocking and doing something different, right? So today, I am going to share with you the first time ever uh, through Mute Mogo Media and Absolutely Positively, I am going to show you my positivity jar, my motivational jar. I actually created this through a organization that I'm with, so I'm so excited to bring you just that today. So organization that I'm uh, with called Swag, Sisters with a Graceful Gift, that's me. <laughs> the leader decided or challenged us to create a jar that you can put positive things into it in hopes that if you're having a bad day, if you are struggling or you just need an extra boost, you can reach in this jar and get something out that's going to motivate you. So that's really my premise. I don't always show a jar when I pull out the quotes, um, but this is really the thought behind it, that reaching into my fictitious jar, which is no longer fictitious now, um, I am pulling out a quote that I hope will be inspirational for you. But today, since this is my positive, uh, this is my positive jar, and this is absolutely positively, I thought we could do both. We can make it motivational and positive. So this is coming from my own personal jar, guys. My own personal jar. And as you see, I have decorated mine. Hope you can see that. Healing, if you can, I'll read it. Healing, energy travel that's one of the things I want and, and so she charged us to uh, decorate it however we want make it personalized so that's really the whole premise of absolute positively that whatever I say you're going to personalize it to your situation so without further ado today's quote will not be a quote actually it is a quote 
because the person that put this in who is unknown these are their words so going back to the whole premise of this jar is someone in the room or at that particular function and their party put in a positive note just for me so that way i could reach in and get a little positive juice an inspirational vitamin, if you would. That's something Pastor Haynes used to talk about years and years ago. So what is my IV of today? My inspiration, um, vitamin, my positive uh, thing? Ooh, this is a good one. I cannot wait to share this with you. I'm telling you, I hope that after this, you'll go create one. Okay, all right, here we go. This somebody, this is somebody's quote, so we'll say unknown. So today's quote is from an unknown person. Uh, you still try your best, even if it isn't the best. Okay, so let me just back up one more time. Let's rewind. This is my first time reaching in to get this particular quote. And so I'm gonna have to go off the dome uh, and really dive into this for you guys. One of the things uh, for Absolutely Positively I like to do is I, I pick the quote, I go through it, I do a little research, I, I pull a story together, but and, and I prepare for you all. I prepare, but today it is off the cuff. I, I don't know uh, where you at and what you're doing, but this is off the cuff day, okay, for Denny K. Oh, that rhymes. Okay. So again, this quote from an unknown from my I'm gonna call it my absolutely positively jar, right? Okay. Is from someone who says, you still try your best, even if it isn't the best. So that's beautiful. So how can we slice that down and break it down? Really and truly, this is saying to me that you just trying is good enough. Just that effort, just that, premise that you gave it your all, it still, it still ends up being the best. Even though, oh, my ring light there is in my way there. Anyway, uh, we're going to roll with it because this is off the cuff. This is off the cuff. So what this is saying is that you just do, do your best. You do your best and everything else will work out just fine as long as you try you know it might not end up with the results that you wanted or you envisioned but it's still the best and that's good enough that's what that's saying to me that even though it's not the best um in your eyes it still is the best because it is the best in that moment right guys it is the best in that moment and and that's still wonderful. That's still great. That's still something to be proud of because we tried, because we tried. I can't tell you how many things that have happened in my lifetime over these 50 years uh, of me trying. I'm talking about from grade school to college to life as a mother, any role that you pick, just try my best. I, I can do you one better. Trying to cook um, for my kids and trying to make sure they had a, a meal, a hot meal uh, every day. And, you know, it, it was hard. It was hard uh, at first, but uh, eventually I made a goal and I said, hey, I, I want to be able to cook something for my kids every day or do something for them every day. And what happened was, uh, even though I might have burned some meals, even though I might have not came out with the best uh, outcome, my kids appreciated it because uh, <laughs> they appreciated it because I tried. I gave it my best. I try my premise was uh completed and so i think that's what we have to remember is that the trying is the best part of it and that ends up being your best right so another example um which this is a throwback so 
back in high school, um, I decided that I wanted to try for cheerleader and I didn't make it. And I was pretty bummed out. I wanted to be in a collective. I wanted to be able to do something for the school, promote myself, showcase some talent. And with the type of person that I am, I thought cheerleading was it. Well, didn't make it. Well, one of my um, one of my friends said, well, you should try out to be a majorette. And so I thought to myself, is that really something I want to do? I, I had never done a baton, never uh, uh, twirled a rifle. That was the other part of it. It was the rifle core as well. I'd never done any of those things. And I just thought, I, I don't know. I, I'll practice. When the audition comes, I'll try my best. This particular case, I end up getting um, the position of being on the rifle corps and the majorette, but it was my very best. And I had told myself after that audition, even if I didn't get it, now I know it turned out to be a wonderful ending to a wonderful story, but I told myself, I told my best friend at the time, even if I don't get it, I tried my best. And I had fun doing it. And so this is what that quote reminds me of. You still try your best, even if it isn't the best. Because, and I'm going to add something to it, because the reward is in the trying. The reward is in the trying. What is it in your life right now that you need to give it your all and give your best and have that euphoria, that that adrenaline pumping that you tried your very best, regardless if it turns out in the way that you want. I actually have a friend, uh, a new acquaintance who has started a restaurant and it started out with just cooking good food and making it available. And he thought, I'll try and see what happens. Well, it ended up that now this has flourished into a very profitable uh, restaurant but it's all because he tried his best. Now, again, please know that every time you try your best, it's not going to end up in the way that you want. It might not end up in the way you envisioned. But what I'm trying to convey and motivate you to do is just to try, just to try and give it your all. Not something half, but <laughs> not, not half Z, all 100%, at least 99.9. .9 try your best to give all that you got and the reward i promise you will be in a trying you feel good you really feel good when you've given your best and that's what we want you to tap into somebody out there right now needs to know and hear that you were uniquely and wonderfully made and there is something within you that we need but we just need you to try to do it so we can experience it. Oh, there we go. Try to do it so we can experience it. It doesn't matter. And lastly, I'll tell you that one of my, this is my wonderful favorite backgrounds, by the way, uh, of the tree. And the reason why I like it is two reasons, because what a tree represents, but secondly, because I consider myself the earth mother. And there would not have been an earth mother, which is a holistic practice that makes, I feel like I'm an alchemist uh, trying everything of nature using holistic practices and techniques, but that's beside the point. I wouldn't be the earth mother if I hadn't tried. If I hadn't tried to make a product to help with an itchy beard, if I hadn't tried to make a product that was good for natural hair that I didn't have to buy from Sally's and couldn't pronounce all the names on the list, I wanted to make something special for me and my girls who had natural good hair. If I hadn't tried that, I wouldn't be the earth mother. And now people want my products all because I try. So one more time, our quote is, you still try your best, even if it isn't the best. And I'm telling you, this jar has already proven to be healing and wonderful and inspirational. So I hope you, number one, get you a jar. Number two, if you want, you can just take some of the quotes I say and put them in there and pull them out and encourage you. So that's my charge for you today. Get you an absolutely positively jaw, and maybe that's something we can work on together, but get you one of those and live the I am life, okay? The I am life. So 
that is it. That's all I have. I feel like I was a little preachy on that because that right there resonated to me with me. So whoever put this in my jar, I absolutely and positively <laughs> mean it from the bottom of your heart. You did that, boo. You did that thing, boo. Anyway, that is our show. As always, I just want to thank you for this time together. Shout out to my sponsors and my big, big producer and media group, Mute Mogul Media. Y'all like it, subscribe it so you can get the notification. I'm just so thankful to be a part of this family. And then also remember my last parting words to you. Whatever you, whatever you do, wherever you go, whatever you say, make it a great one and, and, and do it, try it to make it your best. Absolutely and positively. Take care. We're out. Go get you an absolutely positive job. Right? <laughs> Take care, guys. Until next time. Be blessed.